Welcome back to Great Day Live. Teachers in the United States are in a crisis, and it appears to be getting worse, especially closer to home. Brooke Hash and Rob Harris of WHS 11 News join us this morning to share what they've recently learned about the battles educators are facing inside the classroom and out. Brooke and Rob, welcome to you both. This is a piece that you worked on collaboratively. Yeah, yeah all week we've had different stories with both University of Louisville trying to recruit future teachers and then teachers who are working now and all the issues they're facing in the classroom because as you mentioned, this is a decline that we're seeing in not only teachers who are working but going into the field and a lot of people are worried about it. We're looking at a 35% drop in yes. those just going into the College of Education in the last seven years. That is stunning. So we're going to take a look for a moment. What are we about to see? This is a collaboration and a collage really of just some of the best sound we received all week long. We talked talked about the obstacles that each of these mm -hmm. teachers face on a day to day basis. Uh, the ones you're about to hear are more of the uplifting part of the job, why they're staying, why they, why do, they do what anyway. they do. Why they are anyway, okay, take a look. Teaching is not the thing that you do because you can't do anything else. It's challenging. I always try to keep in mind, I'm inheriting 11 or 12 years of problems that kids have encountered in public education. So like, they're not coming in as blank slates, I'm not coming in as a blank slate. I think if teachers maybe would connect more with the students, that would be able to fix the problem, but it's hard to do with, you know, when you have 25 students a class, everyone with a different story. A lot of the behavior issues you see are just young people trying to figure out, hey, where do I fit in here? Hey, who, you know, considers me important? Hey, who loves me? It's what you're, you're, they're really searching for. We are their home. We are their provider. We are giving them the supplies that they need. We're giving them snacks. We're giving them food. We're buying them coats. We're giving them shoes. Things that they're not getting at home. If you do it and you do it well, then uh, it is exhausting. But the rewards are so wonderful. My students by far have been the greatest joy of everything. And there are hard days with them for sure, but they make this job enjoyable, they make the job fun, they make the job hilarious all the time. 6370, it's you and me. These kids are our future. What is more important than kids in our future? We've got to give them the tools that they need, and if it's not teachers, who's it going to be? We were talking to our friends over at Baptist Health Floyd, and they wanted to give a little bit of a donation. Teachers are unsung heroes, and they have such a huge responsibility. It's hard. But the hard is not discouraging. Matter of fact, on many levels, the hard is why we do um, what we do. It's about the difference you make here on earth with people. Why wouldn't you want to do that? It's awesome seeing that joy on their face, seeing those light bulbs go off is the joy every minute of the day of teaching. That's powerful. Now, people can go to whs11.com and see the different packages that you've put together and the conversation. You've asked people to weigh in. And some of it, I mean, it, it's stunning, it's hard, yeah. it's difficult, but we saw hope. Did you right. see that? And it was almost like, you know, when you do the series, you want to get to the, the issues that they're facing, and they would give you that, but you'd have to kind of fish it out of them. Because when you were interviewing them, they always want to stick on the positive, the changes that they're making in these kids' lives, and those are very real. But they are all, as you were saying, facing real problems like funding in the classroom. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are paying out up to three thousand dollars sometimes pocket. out of pocket, and they don't make a million bucks a year. But they have kids who don't have dinner when they go home. So when you're a teacher and you love your kids, you're gonna pay out of your own pocket. To do we those kind we of heard from one teacher who said she's given her um, one of her students, I believe, like four book bags and binders just this year alone. They come mm -hmm. in, they need shoes. They are there more than they are with their parents. So you have these teachers and staff and faculty who are their providers. They are their second home. Now, outside of legislation, I mean, both Kentucky and Indiana, those yeah. are, mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of things that our legislators Pay, can do to help the pension, teachers. pension, everything. But what can we do as community members? Um, so I asked that very question, and they would say, thank your teacher. Yes. Find a teacher who made a big difference in your life and tell them that because that appreciation can power them through a lot of the difficulties that they are going to face. It's just a reality, but if they feel appreciated, that can do so much. And also that can maybe move the needle a little bit in Frankfurt or in Indianapolis if people know that, if these legislators know that we value our teachers. Yeah. Well, thanks to you both. Look forward to having you on again.
You can find more about the national teacher shortage and what is being done to stop it and what you can do as well at whs11.com. You can watch Brooke Hash and Rob Harris and the rest of the Wake Up team weekdays 4.30 to 7 a.m. Rob also is the anchor of WHS 11's Weekend Wake Up, which airs 6 to 7 a.m. and 9 to 10 on Saturdays and 6 to 8 a.m. on Sunday. We're coming right back with more.